Welcome to the voicemail retrieval service. You have five new messages and two saved messages. First new message, message I've lost interest. Hello, I just came back from spending what turned out to be a four day weekend because of the snow um, at my dad's house. Um, I came home, I have a few messages on the phone which I'd love to listen to. But then it occurred to me that all the messages I get put together are probably going to be shorter than the lengthy monologue I get from the woman at voicemail retrieval service. Uh, who just goes on and I mean seriously, the message is far too long. She just goes on and on with her insufferable plastic voice. It sounds like she's sexually frustrated or something. I mean the message should really just be welcome. No, not even the welcome. Screw the welcome. We know we're calling voicemail retrieval service. That's why we're called 1571 and we're not even in physically in a building. We don't need a welcome. So it should just be, you have five new messages. First message received yesterday at 2 p.m. blah 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 and then go straight into the message. There's no need to, to repeat the word message like five times, which it does, in that voice. Ah, wow, message, message, message. And it's not just limited to the phones. You think you could go outside and just avoid the strange woman from voicemail retrieval service, but oh no. You go to the train station and what do you hear immediately? The train now approaching platform 5 is a 9.17 Southwest train service to London Waterloo calling at Clapham Junction, Vauxhall and London Waterloo. See, it's the same woman, she's there. She's taking over the infrastructure of London. She should be, she should be, you know, stop. Someone should stop her. She's, she, she might take over, I don't know, the internet next. She might take over YouTube. You might go onto YouTube and it might go like, welcome to YouTube. You have five new comments. Ah, I mean, we don't really remember much these I don't remember much. I have a short term memory loss thingy, I don't know. I go to school, I forget what someone tells me, but I do remember the announcement of the train station. The train now approaching platform six is not scheduled to stop at this station. I sounded a bit um Dutch there. To stop. Um But yeah, I remember that and then I don't remember what my maths homework was the other day. It's, it's, it's a conspiracy, subliminal messaging. They're, they're taking over the, the sound waves. On the subject of trains, planes, and automobiles, no. Uh, I have a suggestion for you, Mr. Boris Johnson. Actually, it's, I know nothing about politics or finances, so there might be a massive flaw in this and I'm just missing it, but it makes sense to me. Why aren't tubes fully automated? Because they've got it in the DLR, which is um, the east, the sort of uh, light railway in East London. No driver, it's completely controlled by a computer. Works perfectly. And you see all the rest of the underground network in London. And you drivers. What does that mean? That means people who can go on strike. People who feel they're not being paid enough, even though they're doing a job. Which doesn't require steering, it requires starting and stopping. You know, there's tracks, they don't even need to turn, they just... I'll slow down a bit, I'll start a bit, I'll make a funny comment on the, um... Intercom, that's all they need to do. So I'm thinking... Scrap that. Pay less people. Just pay a few technicians to make sure that the computers still work and dri drive the tubes. Um, if I'm missing something, please tell me, but it makes so much sense to me. Although I do appreciate it when you get the odd tube driver uh, who tries to make the most out of depressing situations. I mean, they're rare, but there was this one time when we were stuck between two, uh, two stations because of delays. And he goes on the intercom and he's like, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the district line. We will shortly be making our descent into Earl's Court. If you take a look to your left, you will see a Victorian wall, complete with Victorian mould. And if you take a look to the right, you will see the most exciting and innovative um, works of art by the local artisans, I, he said something like that, he was referring to the graffiti artists, um, which was quite humorous, because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's funny, I think. I know I said on Friday that I'd come up with something interesting and exciting by Monday, but the snow came, so sorry. Uh, also, I can't be bothered to make it now. I have some I have quite a few ideas for YouTube, but they're ambitious. 
um, and I'm lazy. It's not a good mix. Ambition and laziness, it sort of just clashes together.